Hold up, one. This is Black Knight and Asha here with your Adventure Quest commentary, and I'm here to talk about the new Trainizard quest. This quest is a golden only exclusive, and um, honestly, I think it's a great addition to Adventure Quest. Um, so um, I've already trained my Zard already. Um, honestly, I attempted to um go ahead and make a commentary on me, literally, like in the act of uh you know um training my zard from scratch for the first time but that shit literally took an hour over an hour and i kept fucking up at this part with the damage lean um because i did intense training and i kept fucking up on the um charisma um role so all right so for the elements you know of course we all obviously know what the fuck these um environments mean so I'm not even gonna try to even hover over those to even show you. But as for the accuracy leans, um, train with our being to make his attacks weaker but more accurate. So basically, they'll always hit guaranteed. Well, not guaranteed, just about guaranteed, you know. But they'll be kind of weak, so it's like they'll add up after a while. Blackhawk train, you know, for balance between accuracy and power, meaning you know, like they'll have more of a punch. You know what I'm saying? Like, like. Instead of it just being weak as fuck, it will be decent as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And then just basically all power, like berserker. Like you don't give a fuck if you miss, but once you hit, it's gonna hit like a truck. You know, even though I don't think that's a smart move, but if you have two on the charisma, you can do it. But I don't have two on the charisma, so you know I wouldn't suggest it. Um, let's see. Um, for the damage range, you know, like for like a wider, less with the boom wing and some shit like. Zero to like, like zero to like one forty two or some shit. Um, a balance meaning like it'll like, like it will be decent, you know, like it, you can control it a bit better. Then there's one with a very small range, like so a few weapons, like they have like um, like the Cupid weapon from um, for one of the fossils. Um, it just does 22 to 22 damage. I think that was the 135 version. And then, of course, we all know the effects. You know, um, it all depends on your character's build and how you like your pets, honestly. Honestly, I prefer fear, paralysis, control. I don't really care about blindness because, like, I don't think it works. No status, like, that's really boring. MP healing, bruh. Burn, you know, it doesn't really do that much damage. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna visit the stat trainers and we're gonna take it for a quick test run to see it. Um, so this is my customs art here. Um, it looks really weird. Um, but I assume it's color custom to be honest, which is fucking awesome. I have not named my pet, I haven't named my pet, so um, it's just still called my customs art. Um, generally when I rename my pets, I take off the my part, but I have not, um, I have not, um, you know, gotten too much into it yet because, you know, I've been trying to get all my abilities on my Zard. So yeah, we're going to attack and we're going to just show it's two attacks because it does have two attacks. The bite attack, of course, and the special ability. Um, um, so as... As we obviously know, it has you know the percentage you know, of the chance that you have to control. Because I made my Zard control. I made my Zard have a wide damage range. I um made my um Zard have a balance between power and accuracy. So you know it's in the middle of this about you know because it's like I don't really use pets like that. So what's the use of having hella damage? It's gonna keep messing. It's gonna get annoying as fuck. You know. Um, I'm trying to make it control, well, not make it control guarantee, but just show the status effect. You know, like just at least show the status effect. And then some more reason I'm doing it. Um, before I even started the recording, he was doing it a few times, and it's like the recording is bad luck because I'm like, what the hell? But yeah, um, I think this quest is really beneficial, and if you don't. Have pets or a certain element or whatever you can go ahead and use this as a gap filler which is fucking awesome that's of course you did a wonderful job yes 
All right. So it confuses the foe. It has a 28.78 chance of striking a self-stepping opponent. I'm guessing it varies between charisma, you know. And I can't click on it to toggle between, you know, control and regular attack. So that's what makes it really your pet, you know. But any other pet, you know, you can toggle it. Like Pika's art, I have that in my um, active inventory. And, you know, you can click it to attempt to paralyze, you know, the foe. I don't really like the Bulba's art because it doesn't really do anything but critical hits. And this is like, okay, so the fuck what? Um, it's not really that, you know, it's not really that interesting to me. But it is in my storage. You no, know, I like to collect items. I'm going to be kind of pissed if it, you know, is part, it becomes part of the Zard. You know how to the shop because it's like okay, I collected this in hopes of it being rare or not. That's another gettable item I can just keep selling and get it back. But yeah, um, you already know, went in with these um Pokemon theme type um items. Like that's where the whole training is all came from in the first place. But we're gonna try to make it control the combat practice trainer. But keeps you know attacking directly, and that's like kind of bugging, really bugging me. But I really do assume that um um that the um pet is called custom, so we're gonna test that out after um, we go ahead and um get it to control it at least once. The damage I keep doing with my characters really good though. But that's there's no thrill scoring is a you know is already boosted damage you know plus iron thorn <sighs> uh, but um I um I bought a lot of things with the Z tokens that I got from the Dragon Rider Mount package uh, a lot of things from my character's house some gift boxes go to gift boxes. Which I've got in the comments, of course, is some rare, some rares that, you know, really didn't need to have, you know, I have extra, um, you know, rare give, give boxes. So if any weapon comes out or armor, whatever that I like, comes out of rares, I'll be set for that. Archer rares, you know, barely ever get that. Yeah, I fucking want to kill him. I want to kill him again before. I'll get my damn pet to do his damn effect. Okay, but let's let's test something out. I'm gonna remember I gotta remember my armor colors. This is basically white and black. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna set it to my two favorite colors. Purple and blue. Oh well, the cape doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what goes first though. Let's see, let's just do it that way. Alright. We wanna set it this way. We wanna see if it's truly color custom or not. We're gonna we're gonna answer the questions. You know. Alright, let's look. Yep, it is in fact color custom. Sweet. Alright, so looks like I'm gonna have a bland ass white and black bizarre until I decide I wanna change my armor again. Um, it's not too bad, I guess. I'm just, God damn it. Um, um I didn't have, was it white? Was it white? Oh, no, no, it was black, it was black. All right, so, yeah, let's go back. <sighs> I'm trying to get into control these once. I think that show was white. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Um, let's try to add, you know, fit the charisma to this Try to see it that way. So even though I'm pretty sure it's not, because only fifty charisma. Even though the pet could look a bit better, like it could have a little bit of armor on it or something. 
But, oh well. It looks nice that it's color custom. It's really great. I like that. Like, more items in this game should be color custom. It will make it a lot more you know, favorable to my character page. But the dumbest thing is, when your character page it shows, it shows up as the damn um, default guardian colors. Okay, I got the control at least once. So yeah, um, I've been doing a lot of battling. So um, yeah, let's go to my house and view my state really quickly. Like I said, all these items here I literally just bought. Um, yes, I am late to the whole estate shit, you know, forgive me, I wasn't really hip to, well, I was hip to this, but I wasn't really interested for a long time because of the net tokens at the time, so, but now that I do, I'm going to be on point, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to be warmonger, you know, like, that's one thing I don't do, um, let's see, um, total battles 54, Battle rounds 327, total hits 740. That's a lot of hits. A lot of misses, though, in my opinion. Highest damage came from the element Earth this time and not fire. It's usually fire because that's my favorite element. And I love the way the sound effect sounds, yes. Um, of course, most damage was melee type. Um, pets, um, 54, what the fuck? 54 damage? What the hell? Okay. Kind of weird. Um, um, yeah. Let's see, but um, not too bad. But yeah, that's it for this video. Um, I don't know what my next video is gonna be at all. I'm actually, you know, confused for right now. I want to do something recreational, but you know, I'm not gonna make any promises or say something then do the opposite. I'm just gonna do it. You know, so. You see another video by me, then you know why. But yeah, you guys take care and let alone.